never really made it here today, actually, everyone, because last night I decided that I was going to give up drinking. So, Saturday night, I stayed in on my own. <laughs> Ordered a Chinese, got my new favourite, chicken in a spicy gokwan sauce. <laughs> Sat in front of the television. Now, once he realised you've not won the lottery on a Saturday night, then confirmation that you're sat in on your own on a Saturday night kicks in when the casualty music begins. <laughs> that might as well just be the funeral march kicking in in your living room. <laughs> and casualty is that graphic these days. I wasn't sure whether I was actually watching Saw 3 or Casualty. <laughs> so I flicked over the stations, got to ITV, which is full of the same programmes that I've ever watched, but now on ice. <laughs> so I flicked through Blind Date on ice. Blind celebrities do the funniest things on ice. I'm blind, get me out of here on a Saturday night on ice. <laughs> so I was flicking through, got to the music channel, see that Madonna's got four minutes to save the world. Quite what she's got four minutes to save the world from, I don't know. Judging by it, I think it might be Madonna's menopause. <laughs> so at this point, there's a knock at the door, and it's my friend, Big Fat Sarah, and it was raining last night. <laughs> so she's absolutely soaked. She looks like George Sampson at the end of Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> And she says, hi love, we've got to go out tonight. I've just been promoted at work and it's my birthday. Have you forgotten? I said, no, I've not forgotten. I sent you a card with Moon Pig. <laughs> and she said, she said, promoted? You only do two hours a week in a local brothel. But she said, yeah, I've been promoted to lube lady. She says, I've also lost two and a half stone using the slender tone pads that I stole from Boots last week. And have slipped into a size 18 Bon Marche Spech. <laughs> So at this point, Big Fat Sarah whips out three litres of Cassini out of a clutch bag. I don't know whether you've had Cassini before now, but it's actually the cheaper version of Lambrini. Cassini drinker over there. It's actually cheaper than Lambrella and Ballerini. So me and my fat friend left these three bottles, get in a taxi into town, get to Canal Street, which on a Saturday night now is just full of hen parties. And the hen parties are led by the ugliest bride ever. <laughs> She's almost looking like the gremlin from Gremlins 2, the woman one at the end of the new match. She looks like she's not only been beaten by the ugly stick, but fingered, raped and tortured. I say she's the ugliest person alive, but that's till you see the mother of the bride. She looks a bit like Barbie's grandma mixed it with Mikey from Big Brother. So Big Fat Sarah is on a health kick, so she's swapping drinks between Ribena Toothkind and gin and active and vodka. <laughs> Slowly getting pissed, we end up in a club. And Big Fat Sarah says, let's get some drugs. And I say, no, Sarah, I can't cope with the come down tomorrow at 8 o'clock and where the heart is begins. <laughs> anyway, she disappears off for half an hour, comes back, and places two personal tablets in my hand. <laughs> so I neck them both with Cassini. And the only reason I know about drugs is because that thing happens in the toilet where you're there for 20 minutes trying to have a slash and can't. <laughs> this I call my favourite game. Can't piss, won't piss. <laughs> Followed quite quickly by a ready, steady piss all over the floor. <laughs> so I come out of the toilet, big fat hair has disappeared, and I think, right, I've had drugs, there's two options now. A, a one-night stand, where I'll probably wake up with someone who looks like an extra from the Hills of Eyes. <laughs> And I always hate one night stands because it always reminds me of eating a pasty from Greg's. It's a quick, cheap, easy option and straight after it you feel very dirty and you're not going to go again <laughs> until the next day. Or Route B, which is where I found myself, in a council flat, blacked out windows, Cassini in a tea stained mug going one round side of the room, badly rolled up joint around the other, a woman hugging me, I don't know her from Adam, she stinks, she's telling me she loves me, her breath smells like she's been rimming the devil. <laughs> There's only one person at the party talking, and this is Mad Cathy. Now, I know Cathy is mad because she said to me, I am Cathy and I am mad. <laughs> I also know Cathy is mad because she's got pink hair and bunches, licorice all sort earrings, and a t shirt with Harold Shipman on saying, Carry on, Doctor. <laughs> I'm too paranoid to go to the toilet, but when I eventually do, I play ready, steady, piss all over the floor, and there's no toilet roll, so I have to use the hand towel hanging hang it up. I go back into the living room, Mad Cathy's handed out panty pads because no one can blow their nose because there's no toilet roll. <laughs> Even Cathy's panty pads are mad because they've actually got smiley faces on them, which turn into sad faces when they get wet. <laughs> so I'm looking around the room, he's off his face, she's snorting off a flip <laughs> So I 
Adelante.